I don't even know why I'm doing this project. I already got the best YouTube set up. With the face made for radio, the voice made for writing, the writing style of a preschooler, and a sense of humor drier than the Atacama Desert, it's your host Ellis. That's right, I'm Ellis, and this is my first real YouTube video. So I'm going to apologize up front for bad video, bad audio, bad lighting, etc. for this video and like upcoming videos. Today I'll be attempting to make some low-cost acoustic panels and try to figure a way to test them out. Since I'm recording this before actually doing the project, I have no idea how these are going to turn out, so let's go ahead and start the project. Things that we're going to need for this project. We're going to need some cardboard. We're going to use this for our backing for our acoustic panels. Get these free with all your Amazon shipments, or pretty much all your shipments. Um, some cotton balls. So I picked these up for uh, under $3 the, the other night over at uh, Walgreens. Um, some glue. I have this rubber cement. I have no preference on brand. Um, smells great. Uh, picked that up for under $3 at Walmart the other night also. Slicing McFinger off. Uh, any cutting utensil will probably do for this, uh, for this project. As long as we can just slice through the cardboard. A pen, because, you know, great for marking things. And your tape measure, so we can measure stuff out. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this cardboard down to 12 by 14. Uh, basically I'm going to do a 12 by 12 panel with some, uh, with some extra so I can pin that up on the wall. So let me go ahead and do that now. Okay, now that I got my panel cut out, I can go ahead and mark a 12 inch. So I don't go over that. There we have mark right there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a mark right there. So the next step is, let's go ahead and open up our uh, cotton balls here. Throw away your plastic, of course. And we got nice fluffy cotton balls. Now, we gotta get the glue down. We gotta get these things attached to this backing. So there's two ways of doing this. We can put the glue on the cotton balls, but I see a problem doing it that way. And it's gonna, you know, cotton and glue just, just will come apart and be messy. So we're gonna put the glue onto the cardboard and then lay these down. all over the desk. This stuff smells wonderful. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and slap it on. Just a, just a strip at a time. And 
and then we're gonna just go ahead and put our cotton balls down. Um, you know, just end up and down, whichever one. One by one. Okay, there we have it. You got one panel down. Gotta make a couple more. And I'll go ahead and just cut it here. But I think my kindergarten teacher would be proud of me for not eating the glue. Okay, I got the mic set up. Let's go ahead and um, do a clap test. Hopefully that comes through pretty good. Let me go ahead and swap over to the uh, cell phone. Okay, now I'm on the cell phone microphone. Let's try it now. Okay, now that we have that tested out. Let me go ahead and uh, put these together as in a semi box formation. Okay, uh, I guess I thought I would need some tape, but I guess not. So let's go ahead and test it with the uh, the cheap external mic here. Clap test. Okay, let me go ahead and switch back over to the cell phone mic. Okay, cell phone mic test. Okay, with the project completed, I was able to do three Pinterest picture perfect panels. I might have been able to do a fourth, most likely been able to do a fourth panel since one bag of 200 jumbo sized cotton balls did a panel and a half. If I would have done the fourth panel, I probably would have had a range of motion issue and would have been clapping into the side of the uh, panels and just knocking everything all over the place. Uh, the clap test was a failure. Uh, it was just too variable. There were soft claps, loud claps, thuddy claps, and sharp claps. Even though those issues were present, reviewing the audio through, through, through headphones, through the speakers, uh, looking at the audio waveform itself, I couldn't tell a difference. You might have been able to tell a difference. Uh, my ears could be junk. Um, you know, I'm I'm not I'm not a youngster. Um, so, for future acoustic panel projects, I'm definitely going to need to be able to figure out 
a repeatable sound source to test whether or not they are, you know, absorbing sound um, or if they're just reflecting the heck out of them. Um, I don't have the money for, you know, the high-end equipment or, you know, a designated room to test this stuff out with. You know, I'm just a poor guy. Um, so, you know, try to, try to figure out how to do this cheaply as possible. As you can tell, this, this project was pretty cheap. You know, you know, six bucks for the cotton balls, another three bucks for the glue. So I'm open to suggestions, so go ahead and throw them in the comment section below. Uh, until next time, just be great.